dear friends, let's start our lesson. My dear friends, look at the screen, please. What can you see? What are we going to talk about? You are right. The topic of our lesson is true stories. Look at our plan, please. In today's lesson, we will predict the content of a text, read for specific information and main ideas, and research and read about another disaster. First of all, let's revise the previous lesson. Do you remember the words from the previous lesson? I hope you do. Try to match the pictures with the words. Let's check. The first picture is flood. The second is lightning. The third one is tsunami. The fourth is volcanic eruption. The next avalanche. The sixth one is hurricane. You are right. The seventh word is earthquake. The next disaster is drought. And the last one is tornado. Good. Now look at our new words. Follow me, please. Shine, Siet, Scream, Creek, Wonder, Udivlatsa, Massive, Massivny, Swallow, Glatat, Breathe, Dishat, Grab, Zahvatovat, Gasp for Air, Hvatat Rtom Vozduch, Rescue, Spasenia. Roar, Richard, breeze, Lorki, Vetter. Now let's practice our new words. Look at the pictures and read the keywords and phrases. Look at the phrases warm breeze, crystal clear water, loud roar, huge wave swallowed me. Hand grabbed me, palm tree, in panic, lonely and lost, lucky to be alive. So, dear friends, what do you think? What is the text about? Look at suggested answer key. I think the text is about a person on holiday in Thailand who is caught in a tsunami. Excellent. Let's move on. Dear friends, our next task is listening. Listen, read and check. Listen attentively, please. On the morning of the 26th of December, the sun was shining and a warm breeze was blowing on Koh Phi Phi Don Island in Thailand. It was a welcome change from the wet rainy weather in London. After breakfast we went to the beach. My parents decided to sunbathe and I ran straight into the crystal clear water. Nothing could prepare me for what was about to happen next. Suddenly I heard a loud roar. The water under my feet disappeared. I heard people screaming and pointing at the sea. What's going on? I was wondering as I turned to see a massive wave coming towards me. Mark, run! I heard my mum shout before the huge wave swallowed me. I was under the water. I was trying to breathe and reach the surface, but the force of the water just pushed me down. Then, out of nowhere, a hand grabbed me and pulled me up. I gasped for air and looked around. I was in a palm tree with a Thai man. I could see people in the distance running in panic. I felt like crying, but I was too shocked to even do that. The only thing I could do was to sit and watch, unable to move. 
The hours passed slowly. Suddenly, the Thai man started shouting and pointing to a helicopter. The pilot saw us and came to rescue us. Half an hour later, we were safe in the hills. There were a lot of people there. I was feeling lonely and lost when I heard my mum's voice say, "Mark, you're safe." I don't remember feeling more relieved in my life than at that moment. Two days later, we left the island. We felt lucky to be alive, but we were sorry for the locals that lost their homes. It was a terrible experience. Now let's do tasks according to our listening. Read the text again and complete the sentences. Use two to four words. If you are ready, let's check together. The first, Mark and his family went to Thailand. The second, on the morning of 26th December, after breakfast, they went to the beach. The third, while Mark was swimming, he heard a loud roar. The fourth, a huge wave swallowed him. The fifth, a toy man managed to pull him up. The six hours later, a helicopter came to rescue them. The seventh, in the hills, Mark felt lonely and lost. The eighth one, Mark and his family left two days later. The ninth, they felt lucky to be alive. And the tenth one, they felt sorry for the locals. Well done. Now, dear friends, we are going to watch the video. Be attentive, please. Surviving a tsunami. On the morning of the 26th of December, the sun was shining and a warm breeze was blowing on Phi Phi Don Island in Thailand. People were sunbathing and swimming in the crystal clear water. Nothing could prepare me for what was about to happen. Suddenly, I heard a loud roar. The water disappeared from the beach. I heard people screaming and pointing at the sea. I turned to see a massive wave coming towards me. I started running inland. The wave was just too big and fast. It swallowed me and I was under the water. I tried to reach the surface and breathe, but the force of the water pushed me down. Then, out of nowhere, a hand grabbed me and pulled me up. I gasped for air and looked around. I was just above the water with a Thai man. I could see people in the distance running up a hill to escape the wave. I wasn't able to move for hours. I felt like crying, but I was too shocked. Later in the afternoon, a helicopter pilot spotted us and came to rescue us. Half an hour later, we were safe in the hills. I felt lonely and lost. There were so many people there, but I was safe, and I don't remember ever feeling more relieved in my life. So, dear friends, let's do the next task. Imagine you are Mark. How did you feel during the tsunami? Say a few sentences. If you are ready, now let's look at possible answer. If I were Mark, I would feel shocked, lonely and helpless after such an experience. But at the same time, relieved to be rescued. I would also feel sorry for those people who lost their homes or didn't survive. So, let's move on. 
Dear friends, let's match the adjectives to their synonyms. Let's check together. The first word is welcome and the synonym of this word is pleasant. The next, massive, huge. The third word is shocked. The synonym is horrified. The fourth, safe. The right variant is F, unharmed. The fifth, lonely. The answer is D, abandoned. And the sixth one is relieved. The right variant is E, calm. Well done, let's continue. Now we are going to research and read about another disaster in Kazakhstan. Follow me, please. The Kazulagash Dam failure happened in Kazakhstan on 11th March 2010. It happened near Almaty in the village of Kazulagash. The dam failure caused a huge flood that destroyed the village. 43 people were killed and hundreds were injured. It happened much more recently than the other two disasters. Compared to the other two disasters, it was not as serious as the Kibben earthquake, but more serious than the Great Fire of London. Now, let's make a dialogue about your funniest, saddest, or scariest experience on holiday. Use these questions and make a dialogue, please. Let's check the dialogue between Aida and Nazam. Where did you go? I went to the Capacian Mountains in Romania. Who was with you? I was with my parents. What was the weather like? It was very wet and rainy. How did you get there? We traveled by aeroplane, then car. Where did you stay? We stayed in a mountain hostel. What did you do? We went for long hikes in the mountains. Even though it was raining, it was very beautiful. What happened? One day, we were walking towards an old stone bridge. The river was full of fast-flowing water. Just as we were about to cross the bridge, it collapsed into the river with a huge crash and was washed away. What happened in the end? We had to walk a long way to find another bridge. How did you feel in the end? We felt very relieved and lucky to be alive. My dear friends, let's finish our lesson. Today we've predicted the content of a text, read for specific information and main ideas, researched and read about another disaster. Our lesson is over. See you next time. Goodbye.